Act. Now, many think that law that prompted ODOT to run the sting is unconstitutional. The state's being sued for it. News Source 16's Jared Meyer is live in the newsroom tonight with details on this pretty unusual law. Jared? Well, Matt, imagine you wanted to open a coffee shop in your neighborhood, but first you needed permission from Starbucks. Well, that's essentially what happens to anyone who wants to start a moving company. Yesterday, ODOT cracked down on some of those small movers. Meanwhile, a legal foundation is trying to crack down on the state of Oregon. On Thursday, ODOT put the sting on, and it seems like a few unlicensed movers had to pay up. But in the end, it might be you and I who end up paying for a law that has many scratching their heads. You see, in order to get the proper license, these small-time movers have to ask their competitors. So your competitors decide whether you get to operate in town? Yes. Have you ever heard of anything like that? No. So if you want to start a moving business and get licensed with the state, well, basically, you fill out this application, send it into ODOT, and then ODOT will send a notification to the businesses in that area that already have a license. And then those businesses essentially have a veto power over your license. I've tried for years, and basically ODOT told me the procedure, and basically told me it, it does not happen. The only license people like Mike can get are ones that allow him to pack and load household goods. But he can't transport it, which is why he got caught in Thursday's sting. And every once in a while, hey, we got caught in a pinch. A similar sting operation in Portland prompted one small mover to get help. Now a legal group called Pacific Legal Foundation is suing the state of Oregon over the law. No, there's no excuse for a law that requires you to get permission from your own competition in order to go into business. Few people would argue that the industry needs to be regulated, but opponents argue this law goes way beyond that. It's entirely using the government to protect the private income of politically influential groups and to prevent job creation in the American dream. So I have 30 years experience in this and I'm just trying to make a living. Attorneys for Pacific Legal Foundation say the law is unconstitutional. People like Mike say it's just unnecessary. And there's enough business out there for everybody. Hmm. Now, Matt, a lot of these small moving companies are licensed to pack and load, but that license is very easy to get. It's nearly impossible, however, to get a license to move the materials from one house to another, and that was the focus of yesterday's sting, Matt.